In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Yes. Uh, the, today is the res relatively recent feast of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Eternal High Priest. And it's to, I suppose, um, ram home the importance of our Lord as the one who, under what was called the New Covenant, not the old one made with the chosen people, but the New Covenant, a continuation, but a complete a variation of very great significance, became the bridge between heaven and earth. High Priest is a bridge builder between God and men. And... Our Lord was obviously completely qualified, both God and really man at the same time. He made that great bridge that was promised, the new covenant. So uh, we thank God for coming down to our level so that we could come to God. I celebrate this Mass for a lady called Claire, we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord, have mercy. mercy. You are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. You are the Word made flesh, the splendour of the Father. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And we say the Gloria because it's a feast. Glory to God in the highest, and on Amen. earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who for the glory of your majesty and the salvation of the human race, made your only begotten Son, the eternal High Priest, grant that, through the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, those whom he has chosen as ministers and stewards of his mysteries may be found faithful in carrying out their ministry that they have received. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. <clears throat> Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. Not like the covenant which I made with their fathers when I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. My covenant which they broke, though I was their husband, says the Lord. But this is the covenant which I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my law within them, and I will write it upon their hearts. And I will be their God, and they shall be my people. And no longer shall each man teach his neighbour and each his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me. From the least of them to the greatest, says the Lord. For I will forgive their iniquity, and I will remember their sin no more. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. 
You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The Lord read revelation to my Lord. Sit at my right hand until I make your foes your footstool. You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The Lord will send from Zion your sceptre of power. Rule in the midst of your foes. You, you are, are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. With you is Prince and rule, on the day of your power, in the holy splendour from the womb before the dawn, I have begotten you. You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. Hallelujah. Since he was son, he learned obedience to those things which he suffered. And having been made perfect, he has become for all who have been the author of eternal life. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. As they were eating, Jesus took the bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to them and said, Take this, uh, take, this is my body. And he took a cup and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and they all drank it. And he said to them, this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many. Truly I say to you, I shall not drink again the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Let's sit for a moment. Um, our Lord was... Uh, saying at that first mass, this is my body, this is my blood, uh, that um, he was going to ascend to the highest heavens. But of course, he was meaning, I don't abandon you. Where I am going, you must follow. And he was saying this in order uh, that he should clarify what he's doing. He is the one priest. We are not technically priests sacrificing again and again. We really merely stand in the footsteps of our Lord and represent, make present what he did 2,000 years ago. And every time we do this, we bring you the new covenant whereby you have got access to heaven through Jesus, the only priest who sacrificed himself to make the link between heaven and earth. And so we greatly thank the plan, the loving plan of God that costs so much that we should have the privilege which is not ours by right, of going to the highest heavens with the Lord. Lord, hear us. We pray for uh, all priests, myself included, that we may be worthy stewards, as the first reading said, of the great mysteries. They're not ours. We just hand them on the benefit to you, the people, so we pray that we will always be, strive to be worthy of that great privilege, standing in the shoes of our Lord. Lord, hear us. And we broaden out our prayer, realising that through Jesus, we have access in our prayers to heaven, to the highest heavens. And we pause for a moment, and as it were, as is our right, the priesthood of the people, we have the right to offer those prayers. 
to God. So pause for a moment, mention a name or two in your hearts. Put them in your intention to God Almighty, realising that Jesus has given you access. Lord, hear the prayers of your faithful people, those on their lips and those in their hearts. Grant them the fullness of redemption, won by you, the eternal High Priest, you who live and reign forever and ever. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Yes. The common spirit and contrite heart, Amen. We accept it by you, O Lord, and your sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, O God. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Lord, may our mediator, Jesus Christ, render these gifts acceptable to you, and may he present us as a sacrifice pleasing to you, in union with him, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. <laughs> Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you made your only begotten Son High Priest of the New and Eternal Covenant, and by your wondrous design were pleased to decree that his one priesthood should continue in the Church. For Christ not only adorns with the royal priesthood the people he has made his own, but with a brother's kindness he also chooses men to become sharers in his sacred ministry through the laying on of hands. They are to renew in his name the sacrifice of human redemption, to set before your children a paschal banquet, to lead your holy people in charity, to nourish them with the word of God and strengthen them with the sacraments <coughs> and as they give up their lives for you and for the salvation of their brothers and sisters. They strive to be conformed to the image of God himself and offer you a constant witness of faith and love. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be made, will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of, this, of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Paul our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I invite those who are taking part in this Mass through the broadcast to make a spiritual communion. The prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you are already there, I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity we may bear fruit that lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In accordance with the request of uh, Pope Francis, uh, you're invited to uh, remain for the Rosary afterwards. Rosary praying during May, the month of Our Lady, for the end of Covid. So uh, yeah, that's immediately after the Mass. The Lord be with you. Amen. 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 Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Amen.